Okay, here's part two. Sorry, my husband called and it like stopped the video. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so back to the uh, to the cream um, eyeshadow. So what I like to do is I put a little bit like on my finger, okay? And then I put my finger like in the lid to swirl it out. So what I always tell everybody is start heavy in the corner and then move lighter in. Then it's gonna give you that appearance of that smoky eye without all the work, okay? So I'm gonna do that really quick for you. So heavy in the corner and then move your finger lightly in. And you can layer as much as you want to get it as dark as you would like, okay? But see how it gives that appearance of the smoky eye without the work. It's amazing. So I always show that trick to everybody. They seem, Everybody seems to really like it. And they're like, oh, wait, do that again. And then I end up doing my other eye because they really like it. So light on the inside and heavier on the outside. And don't go all the way up to your to your brow. You wanna go like right in that eye socket area, brow bone area. Okay, so we have that. Then what I like to do is, um, you know, you can apply your mascara in front of them if you'd like and show them how that works. And I always have, you know, I always say that for me, I have really thick lashes, so I like to get rid of a little bit of the fibers. Um, and I curl my lashes and do all of that. Um, and then you can do, like, if they're more interested in, like, a lip stain or lip gloss, you can show that. Um, I keep shy and sappy at parties because um, it's lighter for everyone. Some, some people don't like, a, you know, a huge difference. But, so I apply the shy and then I'll wait and I'll drink out of like a cup of water or whatever to show that the lip stain is not going to move. So here's the shy. And I always tell everybody, it looks different on everyone. Because everybody's lips are different shades. Okay, so here's shy on me. And I use my finger to straighten it out if I need to. I like to just kind of dab it and then it dries it and doesn't look all like cakey in any corners or anything like that. So you got the shy on. And then I'd let that dry and, you know, start talking to everybody, drink some water, whatever, so that they can see how it really works. And if they want to see like all the colors, you can just put them on your hand and walk around and show them because just so you know you don't want to have your if this is just your personal stuff you don't want to have everybody putting it on their lips or touching it or whatever so just put it on your hand to show everybody the different shades and doo -doo -doo. so i pretty much i mean that's what i do really and then i help them with whatever they need help with um i'll show eyeliner tricks sometimes uh with eyeliner let's see here I don't know if I even have the right color out, but okay, well this is navy, so we'll just give it a go. So a lot of people have a hard time with liners because they feel like they have to make a completely straight line and they're worried that they're gonna mess it up and all of that. So when you're doing liners, you wanna put the liners right in your lash line, okay? And you can do small little motions like this. You do not have to do like straight line, okay? So. You're gonna do, let me put it on, right in my lash line. See, just like little, small like strokes. And I only put it like halfway in, okay? Then, if the line is like not straight or whatever and they're worried, they're like, well, my eyeliner doesn't look good. Take the, the unique brush, the one that's the angled brush, then what you can do is you can smoke it out with your hand. So you just put the angled side facing out and you just kind of rub. And then you have smoked it out and it looks awesome. Okay, see, it just smoked it out a little bit. Then you're gonna have a little bit left over on your brush. You can go underneath and put just a pinch of it in the corner to kind of pop your eye out more. You know, it's very pretty. And then I look a lot different when I have my lashes on. But 
you have that. Um, and then also another thing I like to do is before the party even starts, have um, some liner on your hand so that when you, by the end when you're done talking, you can rub your hand, you can have someone else rub your hand, and it's not coming off. Um, and then if you want, you can pass shine wipes around if anybody has any extra makeup on and have them take their makeup off to, you know, to have their BB cream on their little tray at their table and put their BB on and they can feel the shine wipes and see how awesome they are. And then give different shine wipe scenarios if they're moms and let them know. It'll take permanent marker off of you. It'll take a temporary tattoo off of your child. If you're little... If you go to the fair and they paint their face up and that is always so hard to get off of your child and they cry in the bathtub, like always, when you're trying to scrub that off of them. Shine wipes take care of it. You're not hurting them and pulling on their skin and tugging on them and it doesn't have all these chemicals and nasty stuff on your little baby. So that's always um, a great thing to say when you're at a party. But you just do the makeup on your face. Just do a tutorial right in front of them. They love it. They want to see how it works and they want to see that it's something that they can do. Um, because if you get too crazy with all this crazy stuff, they're going to be like, I can't do that. I have no idea what you're doing. So something nice and easy. And then you can bundle things together. Like I used um, these three are what I used to get, you know, and then... You know, I use this for contouring if they're interested in the contouring. But this is basically the flawless um, skin set. You know, make your own little sets and say this is, this is you know, the best. And then you're highlighting something. So they're like, okay, well, I'm going to start with that. I'm going to start with this. So then it's not so overwhelming. Because makeup can be completely overwhelming. There's so many brands, so many different things. And they're, they just don't even know where to start. So start them off with this. And if you have catalogs send everybody home with a catalog and circle in the catalog what they purchased so they know or circle in the catalog things that they have like a wish list of things that they wanted to get later on so they know you know where to order what it is that they wanted and then you are completely their their personal shopper and it really these parties I'm telling you they're so fun and they're so real and you can answer people's questions and I mean upselling is always great to you know to get a sale so if they wanted um, you know if they wanted two lip glosses and you say hey you can get a deal if you get three so those things are always good but don't be that pushy salesperson that you're just going there to try to sell some product you want to actually go there to help them with their makeup routine and help them to feel beautiful and highlight their assets you know like um, so I hope this video helped you and this is just what I personally do. Everybody does everything differently and I'm not saying my way is the only way, but I have had great success from doing it this way and I hope that you all do too. So thanks so much everyone.